Hello everyone. Star Wars Day just passed, so I'm going to do a post talking about the soundtracks in the Star Wars films. Uh, specifically, I will be ranking them from uh, my least favorite to my favorite. Um, I do like all of them though, so none of them I actually think are bad. And we'll see that right from the beginning with the first one I rank. Um, there's also uh, these ones here I won't be including. And even though this looks like a tier list, I'm just doing it by rank. I've got 1 through 11 for all of the films. And um, that's just the main film, so that's why these are down and not included. Uh, so at the bottom in 11th is Rise of Skywalker, which I actually think has a really good soundtrack. The only reason why it comes in 11th is because most of the songs on it are uh, from the previous films and they're just either reworked or remixed for this film. Um, but I do think that the reworkings that they did are very good. Um, I do think there's a couple instances where they misuse some of those songs, such as using the Force theme in kind of dark side moments. Uh, that should be a little bit more optimistically used, in my opinion. But there are some good uh, instances of it, such as uh, Yoda's theme being used for Luke raising the X-Wing out of the water. I think that is a perfect use of it. Uh, next, we get Rogue One. Uh, I put it at 10th because uh, it's the first film to not be scored by John Williams. And while I think my Michael Giacchino does a good job, he does sound a little bit too much like he's trying to imitate John Williams' sound. Uh, but I do like all the uh, themes around Hope and Jin's theme. Uh, I just think it was it could have been a little bit stylistically different from John Williams' style. Uh, next on the list, maybe a controversial pick to have this low, is The Phantom Menace. I think that the soundtrack for The Phantom Menace gets propped up a lot by Duel of the Fates, which is a tremendous song, one of the best songs in all of Star Wars. But the rest of the soundtrack I find to be a little less iconic and doesn't stand out as much. The uh, other biggest songs from it are like Anakin's theme, which is good, and the Celebration Parade song at the end, which is a little cheesy, but it is fun. Um, and we'll see uh, the next couple kind of fall in a similar category to this, where they have one song that really props it up. Uh, next in eighth, I put The Force Awakens. Uh, much like The Phantom Menace, it has one song that really props it up, which is Ray's theme. I love Ray's theme. I think it's like very nice to listen to. It's really chill and relaxing, and it has an air of mystery to it, which I really like. Uh, the rest of the soundtrack is very nostalgic. It feels similar to the original trilogy's soundtrack, uh, which much of that film feels like that. Uh, but I do think throughout the entirety of the film, it's a little bit more balanced than Phantom Menace. And that's why it gets put ahead of it. Uh, another maybe controversial pick, I put Revenge of the Sith at 7th. Uh, this one's pretty tough to judge because there's a lot of tracks in this soundtrack. It's a long film with a lot of changes throughout it. I think all of the stuff around Anakin uh, falling to the dark side is well done and the scene of the Jedi Purge, I think, is really excellent, excellently scored. And Anakin and Obi-Wan's duel is very good as well. But most of the th songs in this soundtrack outside of those, uh, the, the Purge and Obi-Wan and Anakin's duel, are just plays on past music, such as the Emperor's theme gets reused a lot, and the tracks for the... Uh, Republic soldiers, the clone troopers, get used a lot. And then just like the Across the Stars theme is used a lot as well, uh, which is a great song, but it doesn't originate in this film. Number six, I put 
uh, Return of the Jedi, which is kind of what I consider to be the middle ground, so that's why it ends up here. It has a lot of really great highs, but also some pretty low lows, especially with the re-releases, adding the song Jedi Rocks, which doesn't feel to fit into the Star Wars universe at all, and the new Celebration song, which I do think is a better song than Yub Nub, but Yub Nub's kind of funny, so it has that going for it. Uh, but I don't think either is that great. But on the good side, they have Luke and Leia's theme, the Battle of Endor, the Ewok theme, and then, of course, the Emperor's theme really comes into prevalence here. Um, and that goes on to be very important in the prequel trilogy and in Rise of Skywalker. Uh, in fifth, I put The Last Jedi, which obviously that movie gets a lot of hate. I love it, but it gets a lot of hate from the fandom. And But no one seems to really uh, complain about the music in it too much. It's kind of considered one of the biggest highs of that film. And I really like how they built upon Rey's theme and also Snoke's theme. It was in The Force Awakens, but it was barely noticeable. And here it actually becomes a little bit more important and is obviously more noticeable. Uh, Luke and Leia's moment is perfectly accented by the return of their theme. And Binary Sunset is used again for uh, Luke's farewell. Uh, as for the original songs in this film, though, they have uh, Canto Bite and its theme, which is a lot of fun and an interesting way to portray a casino in the Star Wars galaxy. Uh, it takes keys from Vegas and from like a Caribbean sound, adding steel drums. And Octo also gets a mystical sounding theme. And the entirety of the Battle of Crait is made so tense thanks to the booming soundtrack included for it. Uh, number four, maybe a bit of a shocker to have this high, is Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Uh, this film really uh, created the sound of the Clone Wars era. A lot of it is used throughout the Clone Wars TV series and for a lot of the video games that came out around then, used it as a sort of template for what they were doing. So a lot of the songs from it are very nostalgic to me. Uh, I think some of the highs from this film are the use of Duel of Fates again and how it weaves into Anakin's theme and as well as uh, the Imperial March weaving into Anakin's theme as he has moments of darkness uh, and as his fate is being or being put in the life of another person, in this case his mother's. Uh, and then one of the best songs in this film is Across the Stars. It's very obvious John Williams was trying his best to add emotion to the lackluster romance of Anakin and Padme, but that song is absolutely beautiful. Uh, number three, I put Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, another one that might be surprising to see this high, but I just find it to be such a listenable soundtrack. I'll throw it on in the background all the time when I'm working on things. Uh, I think some of the biggest highs in this film are uh, the Infus Nest theme, the Train Heist, uh, Han and Kira's theme, which is kind of a play on the Han and Leia theme. And then also you get a slight return of Duel of the Fates at one point. And maybe the most unique song in all of Star Wars in Chicken in the Pot, which truly sounds like something completely alien and would be something that a space gangster might listen to in their yacht. Uh, I think John Powell did a very good job of bringing his own sound to the Star Wars universe without feeling like it's strayed too far away from what Star Wars has already been. At number two, I went back and forth for a long time between these last two, but I'm going to put Empire Strikes Back in number two, even though it's my favorite film of the series. Uh, I really like it, but obviously A New Hope is more iconic, so I'll just put it ahead because we already know that's going there. 
Uh, but for Empire Strikes Back, some of the highs for it are the uh, Battle of Hoth, Han and Leia's theme, Yoda's theme, and of course, this is the first film where we see or hear the Imperial March. Uh, the Imperial March is maybe the most iconic Star Wars song outside of the, the main theme, and even that, it could give a run for its money. As for A New Hope, this obviously created the sound of Star Wars. Every film after it was building off of that. Uh, and each song in A New Hope is iconic. Um, right from the main theme to the end credits. Uh, some other iconic songs from it are the Cantina song, and the Escape from the Death Star, and the Battle of Yavin. Uh, an underrated song from this film would be the second Cantina song, which no one ever seems to talk about, but it's also very good. And my favorite song of all of Star Wars comes from this film, and that's Binary Sunset, or the Force theme. Uh, I think it just beautifully accents Luke's moments and any moments surrounding the Force. Um, so that's my rankings. Uh, I'll likely do some more Star Wars related posts in the rest of this month. Uh, at least one, maybe two more. Uh, so stay tuned for those. And thank you for watching. This is the end card, which means you've made it to the end of the video. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you want to see more, maybe hit subscribe.